Hello everybody, Studio Drew here. I'm using my laptop because my phone has been blowing up um, with work issues and blah 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 blah. However, so this is probably not going to be a very long video, but I wanted to talk about or expand upon something in my why video. That video I talked about one of the reasons why I wanted to do the YouTube videos. Well, it's to keep my hands busy, to keep my mind peaceful. I make crafts, but there are other things you can do to help with your anxiety. Now, because I'm an overthinker and all of that, that's why um, I, I read because it allows my mind to focus in on sort of a, a reality that's not my own and it slows down all the other things that are going on in my head. Very helpful to do at night. Um, so that's one thing to expand on but I love Disney and I love Disney art which leads me to loving Thomas Kincaid. Years ago I um, I fell in love with his Disney prints and uh, just couldn't afford them. They're well worth the money if you can afford them and if you can get them framed and, and uh, matted um, all in one shot and that's wonderful. But there are cheaper ways of getting a Thomas Kincaid print framed and on your walls. And in the meantime, you can keep your hands busy, which keeps your mind calm. I want to introduce you to Thomas Kincaid Disney Puzzles. This here is an actual newer print that he was working on um, before he passed away. And it took a while for the studio to... Um, release to finish and release um, all these new ones. My entire apartment is decorated with Thomas Kincaid puzzles that I enjoyed with the help of my roommate putting together. Sometimes they would go together so quickly and sometimes they would uh, it would take us maybe a whole week. Back in the early days before we lived together it could take us even longer because we didn't see each other all the time. This is a 750 piece puzzle. Its finished size is 24 inches by 18 inches. It finishes out, I'm not sure that you're going to be able to see this, to be a beautiful size. This one here is one of the older prints of Cinderella on the steps of the cat. Is it the steps of the castle? No. She's in the garden on a bridge. So, this is what you do, okay? You put the puzzle together. You get some Mod Podge. Puzzle Saver. This one is an 8 ounce jar. I did not see it in a smaller um, container, but it will s probably save two, maybe three puzzles, depending on the size. And then I was going to show you, but I'm on my laptop and I can't get a vantage point very well to show the puzzle. So um, that may be another video. I don't know. Um, something to look forward to, maybe? <laughs> If that's what you have to look forward to, your life is probably about as exciting as mine. Um, I just, my life is crazy. I own a salon in a salon suite. I do YouTube and Etsy, and I just got a part-time job at a craft store. So I don't have time to worry about whether my life is fun and crazy or dull and boring or what have you. Anyway, so... The whole point of this video is that you don't have to be arts and crafty to find things to busy yourself, to be creative, to be resourceful. Get what you want for a close 
resemblance to what you've always wanted. Um, this is probably the poor man's Thomas Kincaid art. But you get the satisfaction of completing a puzzle. And this is not an easy, any Thomas Kincaid puzzles are not easy because he is the master of light. So there are so many details and highs and lows in every one of these puzzles that um, it, it could it could be a challenge to put together. But challenging your mind and keeping your hands busy makes you healthy, makes you happy. Um, and then you start with a pile of pieces and you get it together. So you see the results of your effort in a finished beautiful puzzle. So just an example, just a suggestion as to um, the ways that I handle my anxiety and overthinking. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be medical. There are solutions um, to every problem, and sometimes they're simple. I am not a doctor. I am not a medical professional. And none of the things that I suggest are a replacement for seeing a medical professional or getting, um, getting the help that you need. I have seen medical professionals in my life. I have been through therapy with um, doctors, with therapists. I've been on medication. I have been thankfully taken off of medication. But I have also learned that there are ways to recognize when it's anxiety and when it's reality. Anxiety to me sometimes is a false reality that um, is a trap easy um, to fall into. It's uh, keeping yourself um, aware, knowing yourself well enough to know the signs of when you're getting over anxious. When, um, when it's time to take control um, and, and manage it. So all I'm suggesting is that arts and crafts, um, such as the, the things that I, I hope to present to you in all of my videos, um, puzzles, 750, we've done a thousand piece puzzles. They're, they're wonderful, they make you think strong enough about what's going on right in front of you that you don't have to focus on all the stuff going on around you, which is, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. It's a, it's a vacation from your own mind. So keep it in mind. doesn't have to be a Thomas Kincaid Disney puzzle, but if you're interested, you can find them online at Amazon. You can find them generally anywhere. Barnes & Noble carries a, a, a small selection um, Sometimes the craft stores has a small selection. I believe that I've got this brand new um, Snow White. It's just, I have a Snow White, one of Thomas Kincaid's original um, prints, hanging above the fireplace. And it's one of my favorite because it's one of the first ones I've got. And it's, I just love it because it's Snow White standing sort of behind a tree. <laughs> See? this being the tree right here, peeking in onto the Seven Dwarfs uh, cabin for the first time. Uh, I like this one because in the original one I just described, Snow White is this teeny tiny little figure in um, the puzzle or, or the print, which is fine because the, the scenery and, and all of the trees and the beautiful, beautiful artwork of Thomas Kincaid makes it pleasant to look at. But if you want to look at more for like the the Disney icons, the newer ones have the larger, um, more visible characters. We have Aladdin hanging in our dining room. We have uh, Alice in Wonderland hanging in above our couch. Um, those are two of the newer ones. And the one that I'm working on here is Dumbo. And I looked for the box because I tend to keep all the boxes. But I don't know where it's at. And there's two reasons. I've misplaced it or my roommate has tossed it away because it was an empty box. I don't want to accuse. I'm just suggesting that that's a possibility why I can't find it. Anyway, so before I close up, um, 
very important um, what we covered today in this video. There are multiple ways to um, I just lose my words. I, I think it's a product of turning 50 in July, well, and that's what I'm blaming it on. Um, but sometimes it's because there's so many things going around in my head, so many words I want to say that I lose the ones I meant to say, which happens. Um, anyway, so I'm not going to recap it. If uh, you, you just rewind it and watch it again, if you want to. There, I said it. I want to be a voice. I want to be an advocate for those who suffer from the things that I have suffered from my whole life, which is depression, anxiety, um, lack of confidence, um, insecurities, all of those things which finally um, I have learned to handle, and now I want to do more than handle them. Now I want to uh, grow and expand and, and just be the person that I've always meant to be, be the person I've always wanted to be. and doing things like this, helping you do things like this, helping you get a, a handle on the things that um, worry you. If I helped one person today, I would be very, very happy to know. So please, leave comments in the box. If, you, if I've said something that resonates to you, like the video, and you hit the little icon, subscribe because there will be more. Um, I have a lot to say, and I think that sometimes I have some words of wisdom to pass on. I don't have uh, children, and um, I have a dog. And I'd like to think that the stuff that I have to say to him helps him, but let's just agree to be, it's a treat. That's what helps him. <laughs> anyway, so um, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the little bell, and it'll let you know every time I have a new video up. And uh, I will see you next time when we either seal this puzzle or finish the um, special order pink um, flower crown that I just posted part one to. So hopefully there'll be part two and part three. We'll get that wrapped up, and then we'll work on some decoupage. That's the next project don't know what decoupage is. It's using a product from Mod Podge, not Puzzle Solver. Saver. Not Puzzle Saver. Um, but there are def several different Mod Podge solutions for different um, purposes. Uh, decoupage is one of them. It comes in a satin finish. It comes in a flat finish. It comes in a high gloss finish. It comes in an outdoor finish. One that most likely, you know, as it says, will help it to whatever project you're making at Survive Outdoors. So, um, we're going to take some letters for back there on that wall. S and a D for Studio Drew, because that's the name of my salon and it's also the name of my YouTube channel. And we're going to layer it with decorative paper, paper to make it look um, very villainous and, and colorful to match the theme of my villain wall that you can't see because it's not behind me, it's beside me. But anyway, I digress. That'll be a project coming up soon too. So look forward to it. I look forward to seeing you again. Let me know if there's anything that you think that I can help you with, any project you'd like to see me make. Um, remember I am working two jobs, so don't make it, <laughs> don't make the list very long. Studio Drew signing out. Uh, <laughs> dummy me is thinking that's a touch screen. And this laptop is a bit older than um, touch screens. So let's try this again. Studio Drew <laughs> out. <laughs>